hardcore and so furious. Let's see what we got. Very, very deep orange. Very tender. That's a beautiful specimen. We got white pores underneath. Nice. Well, that looks like the white pore um, chicken in the woods, which is supposed to be better than the yellow pore. I'm going to take some uh, closer pictures and investigate a little more, but uh, quite a find. It's a good size. It looks to be uh, almost 24 inches by 18 approximately. Nice piece. White pores and that would be chicken. Let's see what do we got for uh, our size on this. Looks to be about uh, 21, 21 by 16. So it's looking like a pretty pretty decent size. And um, we're gonna harvest some of this and take it home. We'll get a few pieces. Oh, this is a beautiful shelf right here. Look at this thing. Oh, really nice. Look at that. This is the white pour. This is supposed to be choice. So, let's see where we're getting some resistance right around there. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Really nice specimen. I'm gonna leave this piece that's on the ground and huge. It's a little flattened out, a little tough. We'll leave that one there and let that proliferate and we'll get uh, a little bit more from here. Oh yeah, this one's very tender. All right. And this will keep for, uh, they say between a week and two weeks in the fridge and I've had good luck with it being outside on the um, like out on the deck in cooler weather for you know four four days or so and then back in the fridge for another three days and it stays um, very fresh so we're gonna have this probably with uh, sauteed with some red onion tonight these florets that are on the top here are going to explode probably in the next week so we're gonna leave this untouched because these are all very young and they tend to grow very quickly. And uh, we've harvest, harvested some of this um, mature, some of the mature pieces here. And um, we'll see if this, you know, come back in uh, 10 days or so and and uh, have some more. We'll see how this white pour compares to the yellow pour. All right guys, safe trails. Hey guys, how's it going? We've got this um, white chicken of the woods. It's the white pour version. You can see it came from a very large specimen that we had earlier. It's uh, relatively thin. It's supposed to be very good eating. Some people say better than the yellow pore. On the way home, we found one hell of a piece of young yellow pore chicken that was just really thick. And you can see it actually looks like a 
a vegetable. And um, it's extremely tender and was oozing, so it's a really choice piece. And we're going to um, saute these with some garlic and olive oil. And I'll give you a heads up on how it tastes, if it tastes any better than the yellow pour that I had last week. All right, guys. All right, we're going to actually um, try this with a red onion. Some red onion and olive oil. And uh, we're going to skip the garlic and um, let you know how All right. Woohoo. Looking good. A little onion. We've got both kinds of chicken in there. Let's see. One of the fat boys right here. All right, let's see what we got. All right, the white pour. That is better than the old pour. Oh boy, does that taste chickeny. Wow. Wow, very, very chickeny. Mmm, really good. Mmm. That's delicious. I do like it better than the yellow pour. Now, this thick yellow pour that we had gotten. That's very tender and that's very good as well. It almost eats like uh, the squash. Actually, that does taste a little bit. Tastes a little like squash on that really tender, juicy yellow pour. And this white pour is kind of thin, and I was expecting it to be very dry, but it's not. Mmm. And that tastes like chicken. Alright guys, safe trails.